Good evening, Mr. Bond fans. There are two kinds of people in this world. Normal people, and people who attach way too much sentimentality to movie ticket stubs. Can you guess which one of those I am? For reasons unknown even to myself, I have kept almost every movie ticket for every cinema trip that I've made since about 2008. While this may seem like a relatively futile thing considering that uh, some of the tickets are fading over time, it is nonetheless quite nice to have a box of memories to look back on. I'm a big movie buff and I think it's quite nice to fondly remember the first time you saw some movies. Movies like Doubt and Bangkok Dangerous. What the hell is Bangkok Dangerous? But obviously being the big Bond fan that I am, it is the James Bond tickets that are the ones that I kind of look back on and remember the most fondly. I was rummaging through the box recently and I genuinely got a little bit sentimental and nostalgic thinking about the first time that you see a new Bond film on the big screen in the cinema. It's such a rush. I don't know if anyone else out there has a similar situation to me, but I feel like my attention span has d decreased so much over time and I blame smartphones to be honest <laughs> and social media that if I'm watching a film at home, I sometimes I find it kind of difficult to concentrate on it, whereas when I'm in the cinema I can just kind of experience the thing and just let it all wash over me, and that's certainly how I feel like I experience Bond films for the first time. I just get so into it that it's almost like a trance. I love it. So I thought it might be interesting to talk a little bit about how the first time experiences for all of these Bond films that I've seen in the cinema were. Okay, so I'm going to start working backwards because I saw Spectre four times in the cinema and I have each of these tickets here. The first time I saw it was on the day it came out, the 26th of October 2015, and uh, I saw it in IMAX, saw it at 7.30 after work, and I remember having a real difficulty concentrating on work that day because I had this ticket booked and I knew I was going to see the new Bond film. There was a big audience there, and I really do enjoy watching Bond films with a full audience like that. So many of the times we watch these films, we watch them, you know, maybe by ourselves or with a mate or two, uh, in front of the TV and you just don't get that same experience of hearing what people laugh at, what people react to when stuff is happening on the big screen. All that being said though, I remember that this particular film did not get much of a response from the audience. There were two things specifically that I remember. Um, the first being when Blofeld reveals that uh, he'd actually prefer to be called by that name. There was a mumbling going through the crowd and there were people like turning to people and being like, yeah, I, I remember there was a couple of rows in front there was a guy with, I guess, his younger kid, it must have been about like 12 years old or something, and maybe he didn't know who Blofeld was, and I saw his dad like lean over and like whisper something, like whether it was, I'll tell you later, or I don't know, but you could definitely hear there were mumblings of, what does that mean? <laughs> And then the second time I remember there being a reaction was on M's line about now we know what C stands for. That line, and uh, this was true of every time I saw the film in a cinema, no matter how big the audience was, that line got such a good reaction. And then, and then M follows that up with the careless line. And that killed the laughter. There was like still some laugh, the, the laughter was kind of teetering out and then it just went like off a cliff as people are like, oh, it's kind of, it's one of those things where it's funnier when you, have it in your mind and then when they clarify it, it kind of killed it a little bit. So I saw it three more times after that, if you can believe. I saw it next on Wednesday the 4th of November. Uh, I remember specifically going this time uh, after work with a, a friend of mine. And the thing had been out for over a week at this point, so the audience was much smaller. And I remember it being a very subdued crowd as well. There really wasn't much kind of tittering going on. That C line did get a bit of a reaction. But funnily enough, the one thing that I remember the most from this specific screening is that for some reason there was, uh, there was a guy there who was sat by himself a few rows I think it was in front of us. And like I say, this is a subdued audience. Everyone is relatively quiet throughout this whole thing. And then we get to the scene where Bond and Madeline are in Tangier, and Madeline has that line. Look, there are two of you. For some inexplicable reason, this guy who was kind of sat by himself, like as soon as Madeline finished that line, he just shouts, three way, two absolute silence <laughs> from the rest of the crowd. There was no response to that at all. It was just this, 
thing that happened, no one asked for it, no one wanted it. I don't know if the guy had seen the film before because there was not a beat missing. Like, he shouted it out and I don't know if he'd seen it the first time round and that had popped into his mind and for some reason he decided to share that particular uh, personal joke with the rest of us. But it was so strange and he was like, deadly silent for the rest of the thing and it was <laughs> such an odd moment. The next couple of times I remember I went with my dad and then I went again with another friend and then four times. I think four times is the most I've seen Bond films in the cinema. I tend to see them four times. I've never gone beyond that. Um, we'll see if that'll hold true for No Time to Die. So next Next up, we have Skyfall. Now, for some reason, and rather annoyingly, I couldn't find my ticket from my first viewing of Skyfall. The earliest one that I have is from the 20th of November. And then I have this very uh, slapdash uh, ticket, because at the, at the time Skyfall was released, I had a friend who worked at the uh, BFI IMAX, and uh, he got me in on a staff ticket, so that's why I have this hastily scribbled ticket. And I remember that. It was really cool to see the thing in IMAX. I went, like, during a weekday, I think, so it was relatively quiet. But I do remember that there was a moth <laughs> in the screening room, and it would go in in front of the uh, the projector. At that point, I'd seen the film, so it wasn't bothering me all that much. But I do remember it was there, and it would like flit in every once in a while. It wasn't it wasn't a terribly noticeable shadow, but every now and then, Judy Dench's face would look like it was doing some kind of strange <laughs> contortion. The first time seeing Skyfall, I remember being a terrific experience. That was with uh, again opening night uh, with a relatively full audience. In fact, it was completely full. There wasn't a seat spare. And I remember the, the the laughter that would come when the jokes hit, like just little things. And, you know, maybe just titterings of laughter. I'm not saying that anyone was uproarious when, uh, you know, Craig says health and safety to the, uh, the, the London Underground employee. But it was exactly the kind of audience that I like for a Bond film, where there is some kind of... No one's talking over the thing, but every now and then you just get a reaction here or there from moments that are either funny or suspenseful or whatever, and stone cold silence throughout that scene where uh, Judy Dench's M passes away. It was a terrific screening, actually, one of my favorite uh, Bond in the cinema experiences. And then going back four years, so these are some of the older. Uh, ticket stubs that I've got and you can see that they're, they're, they're a little bit faded uh, After well god 13 years. So this is the ticket from the first time that I saw Quantum of Solace uh, 31st of October 2008 for the princely sum of seven pounds 80 Jesus that's an opening night in a premium seat as well that I got this bloody ticket. That just goes to show you how much the prices have increased. This I ha this I remember being another pretty good experience, as in the audience was quite into it, um, and there were, well, I can't say there was all that much laughter, because, you know, the, the Quantum of Solace is quite a dry film, humour-wise. But there was certainly some, you could tell people were exhilarated by the action sequences, and it's, it's all very quick cuts and, and whatnot, so it is a bit of an adrenaline boost when you first see it, that film. Funnily enough, the thing that I remember most about that screening was, as I say, like, when I first see a Bond film in the cinema for the first time, it does kind of wash over me. Uh, and my inclination is obviously to be positive, you build up to these things for so long. I remember coming out of Quantum of Solace and being kind of like, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? And I was with a few friends who were kind of like, yeah, it was, it was good. And then I had one friend who was so kind of no, actually, I don't think it was very good. And I, I, I remember that discussion, which was really fun and interesting in the car ride um, as we drove back uh, back home. The only other ticket that I have for this, I must have seen it more than just the twice in, in cinemas, but I did see it again on Tuesday the 18th of November. And I, I remember this, I went during the middle of the day, I went by myself, cause I was, uh, I was really intent on staying so that I could see the James Bond will return uh, line come up at the end of the thing. I do always have a little tradition about that. Often the first times I see Bond films in cinemas, uh, I, I, I'm too kind to try and persuade the people that I go with to sit through the incredibly long credits to get to just a line that says James Bond will return. But that time I was determined that I was going to do it. 
And I remember being sat there, like I say, it was Tuesday, you know, the film had been out for over a couple of weeks. It was very quiet, uh, middle of the day, I was a student at the time. And I remember being alone and sat there, and the credits are about halfway through, and then the, the person who's going to come around and do all the sweeping up uh, and, and cleaning and stuff before the next screening comes in, and they're about to go and do their job, and then they just see that <laughs> this one person is sat there, and he was just like, ah. Uh, then he just like stood and waited, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just sat there like, I just have to sit here for a little bit longer, just a couple more minutes, and then the thing comes up, James Bond will return, the lights fully come up, and I'm like, mm. and then I just like walk past the guy, like, thank you. <laughs> it was just like, oh, that guy must hate me that I'm just restricting him from doing his job. So that is actually it for the movie tickets that I still have. As I say, I was uh, kind of collecting these from uh, 2008 onwards, but I had previously seen Casino Royale and Die Another Day in cinema. While I don't have the ticket, and I nor can I remember how many times I saw Casino Royale in the cinema, but I remember the first time very specifically, I remember going with my daddy picked me up after I just, well I just started sixth form uh, here in the UK, which is what you do after, after high school and before university for a couple of years, and uh, I remember him picking me up from outside the building and we went to, I remember having very little awareness of what the of what Casino Royale was, was even going to be. I, just, it, you know, I wasn't very engaged with the promotional material or anything like that. So I remember going in relatively fresh. Um, I can't remember. I remember it was a school day, so I can't remember if it was the day that it came out, but I remember going straight after school. So it must have been early afternoon. And I remember it being quite quiet. I have no memory of any kind of audience reaction, audience participation. Uh, during that screening, uh, which is, I think, why it took a it took a while for me to really come around. To, like, I adore Casino Royale now. It's easily top five, maybe even top three. It's like really up there, one of the very best Bond films. But I remember it took a uh, it took a while to come around to, for me to come around to that. And as I say, I don't know if I I don't know if I even saw it more than once in cinemas. A film that I do remember seeing more times in the cinema though is Dine of the Day, which I must have seen about three or four times. Again, I don't have the tickets anymore, and Lord knows they would probably be super faded by now. I remember seeing it with my friends, and we were like all 12, 13 years old, and we must have annoyed people so much by being just immature little brats, like tittering away, laughing while. Pierce Brosnan and Halle Berry are having sex on screen. But I remember, and this just goes to show how public perception can change so much, because I remember reaction to Dine of the Day around the time was actually pretty good. <laughs> Particularly, I remember coming out of one of the screenings that I went to with my dad and asking my dad, uh, you know, uh, did you like it? Like, how does it rank up against the other ones for you? And he was like, oh, I think it's the best one yet. And I was like, yeah, I think it might be the best one yet too. Just goes to show how times change. And with No Time to Die coming up, like literally just on the horizon, I already have uh, more than one uh, screenings booked in. So I'm very uh, keen and excited to just absorb that film so much. I might even end up seeing it more than four times in cinemas, like, if I like it that much, because I am so jazzed for this thing. Finally, after so many years, I am ready to see Bond back on that big screen. And it's interesting, like, looking back at this again, just to go back to Spectre, the last time I saw a new released Bond film on the big screen was Wednesday the 11th of November 2015. If you'd have told me coming out of that screening of Spectre that it would be almost six years before you <laughs> before you had a ticket to go to the next one, I I don't know what I would have said. I'd probably have asked you what I would be doing on YouTube for six years. So like I say, please do let me know your own stories about times that you saw the new Bond film in the cinema. Um, I'm curious to know if anyone has any funny stories or I, I like talking about this kind of stuff with my friends. I think it's interesting how different audiences respond and react and the funny things that happen. It's part of the communal and fun experience of going to a cinema, I think. I'm excited to get back to it, so do let me know in the comments below. Also below, you can click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on future video uploads that I make on this channel, including a No Time To Die uh, initial review, which, uh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it'll be coming within a week. You can also click the Mrs. Bell button for notifications, and also below are links to my social media pages, my Twitter page, Facebook page, and Patreon page, so do follow those links 
podcast to see how you can follow me on those things or support the channel if you um, if you care to do so. With all that being said, and until next time, Bond fans, so long for now.